Hi everyone, welcome to Owen Finance and in this video we're going to cover investment portfolio diversification. Before we begin, make sure that you already watch the requisite videos so you can have better understanding sa mga terminologies natin later. Okay, so I'll just put all the links in the description. The concept of diversification is very simple. Do not put all your eggs in one basket. Let's say meron kang 100,000. At yung ginawa mo, nag-open ka ng dalawang time deposit account, so 50,000 each. Meron kang 6 months na time deposit, yung isa naman is for good, good for one year. So sa strategy na yun, actually walang diversification na kasi pag mo, although you have two accounts, they actually belong on the same basket, the same time deposit. So uh, we can apply diversification by allocating to different asset classes. For example, 100,000 mo, 50,000 nun, nilagay natin sa time deposit pa rin. Pero yung 40,000 yan, nilagay natin sa, let's say, treasury bill for one year. And then you have, uh, let's say, retail treasury bond, RTB, yung remainder na 10,000. So yung example na yun, we actually applied diversification. So yung 100,000 mo, for example, was allocated to different asset classes. Okay? So the question perhaps is, paano natin gagawin yung diversification? We have to go back to investor profiling. Okay? So remember yung CEO framework, capacity, experience, objective. Ito yung magbibigay sa yun ng guide on how to do the diversification process. So if you are a conservative investor, for example, you have 100,000 we can actually do this you know, type of portfolio diversification. 50% nun, 50,000 na sa money market funds or investment funds na UITF or mutual funds. Kasi it's very liquid, pwede mong kunin anytime na walang you know, implications sa capital. So yung 20,000 nun, pwede natin ilagay sa time deposit and then treasury bill naman another 30,000. So yung time deposit mo in treasury bill, they have certain lock-in period, so hindi mo siya pwedeng mahatak anytime, but in return, they actually give you, you know, extra, extra interest rate, extra, extra returns compared to yung mga money market fund mo na, na for liquidity lang or for parking ng idle cash. So if you are a moderate investor, pwede natin, you know, build yung portfolio mo, looking at bonds. For example, pwede ka maglagay 45% sa corporate bond and another 30% sa treasury note. So, your total exposure mo sa bond would actually um, mark at 75% or 75,000 ng 100,000 mo. Pwede lang natin lagyan konti sa treasury bill, that's 10%, for example, and then for money market, UITS and mutual funds, we can put 15% or 15K. Para lang at least meron kang mahatak anytime for emergency needs, okay? Now, what if you are an aggressive investor? So we can put more weight on the preferred and common stocks. So yung exposure mo sa equity ngayon nasa around more than half of your portfolio, that's 65%. So maglalagay lang tayo ng konti-konti sa money market fund para lang at least meron kang uh, pwede ma-withdraw anytime. And then uh, pang neutralize ng risk exposure mo, so equities, pwede natin lagyan yung treasury note ng 10,000 and then yung UITF mutual funds naman na bond category, another 15,000. So yung combination na yun that would give you, you know, an optimized return. Okay? So in summary, the purpose of diversification is actually for reduction of risk. So we are not trying to eliminate the risk, but we're trying to reduce it. And at the same time, it actually optimizes the return of your portfolio. Okay, that will be all for now. Thank you very much for watching and see you on my next video.